Hey guys, it's Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com again. People know me as the Christian Realtor. I'm the author on the book on Vancouver real estate. And today I'm going to talk to you about the greatest myth in real estate. The greatest myth in real estate is that people think that bidding wars are bad. People think that bidding wars are bad. And when I say people, I'm talking about buyers. Buyers think that bidding wars are bad because they feel that they're going to be overpaying for a property because they feel that the frenzy will cause people to act e uh, emotionally irresponsible and overpay for a particular property. So let me explain briefly first that a bidding war usually occurs when the property is a desirable property. Usually, okay. And usually bidding wars occur when the market is, go is booming, meaning it's going up. And even in a booming market, not all properties have bidding wars. Usually only uh, very desirable properties or homes that have been priced, maybe priced right, like priced at market value or a little bit below market value, those ones will generate bidding wars. So what I want to explain in this video is that Bidding wars are not necessarily bad. Fair market value is when a willing seller sells at a price that a buyer is willing to pay and a deal is made. That is fair market value. So if a property in a particular area is worth $2 million, but the bidding war generates uh, makes it sell at $2.3 million, then the new market value in that area is $2.3 million for that kind of property. So the next property prices at $2.3 million and then people will think, people won't think it's they're overpaying because oh, that previous property sold for $2.3 million. So all of a sudden market value increases that way. So I wanna give you an example that where I was in a bidding war with my client, builder investor, and I, it was a great area, great neighborhood, and the house was a dump. So we're kind of paying just for land value. And this property was worth, I was asking about $3 million. And uh, it's basically not livable inside, but it was located on a very prestigious street in the city. And it was worth maybe anywhere between, <clears throat> it was priced at $3 million, but it could have been priced anywhere between 3.1 to 3.9 because it's the because it's a prestigious street in the city uh, not a lot of properties buy and sell there so it's a very uh, rare property to rare property on the market so I pitched it to my investor builder client and we we engaged uh, we submitted an offer and we were in a bidding war there were uh, we didn't know exactly how many offers but I told my client that it's pretty tough. Uh, it could be worth anywhere from 3.9, 3.1 to 3.9 million. So you got to just put in an offer that you would be comfortable in and you wouldn't regret if you lost it. So what happened is we wrote an offer 3.51 and we won the offer. We won the bidding war and found out later we were bidding against four other buyers. So we won out, we won. And later when my uh, buyer uh, got an appraisal for the property um, to get financing. The the bank also appraised that at 3.5. But the the good thing about this story is that I helped them buy this prestigious property. A year later, it's worth 4.5 million dollars. So we saw the potential. We saw the the neighborhood. We saw the uh, how rare these properties come up on that street. And I told my client this is a like a once in a lifetime opportunity and he jumped on it and a year later it's worth 4.5 million. Now, a couple years later, it's worth significantly more than uh, 4.5 million dollars. So just want to re-emphasize that bidding wars are not bad. Make sure you talk to your realtor to find out what the market value is for that particular property, how the market is reacting because let's say you pay a little bit over market value for a particular property, but you see the market is increasing like this, increasing 20, 30% a year, just because you pay maybe 2%, 5% over market value, within a couple months, you will have made up that, that difference. And then for the rest of it, maybe next year, the property's worth 20% more than what you paid for it. So 
really important to uh, never, don't be scared of bidding wars. Uh, obviously, do your due diligence, work with your realtor and find out what the property is worth, what the potential is, what the market trends are showing. And um, that's it for today. Gary Wong from Gary Wong Realty again, GaryWongRealty.com again. Uh, subscribe, comment below. Until next time, God bless you.